Hello DCS pilots and everyone else interested in the home computer flight sim in Arena. Always surprises me when I fly online on DCS to find that there are still people on the servers who are there, oftentimes who still don't know that you can get all of the modules in DCS, including all the different terrains, completely for free. For the benefit of all the new people here, let's briefly go over how the ecosystem for DCS and Eagle Dynamics work. So Eagle Dynamics is the name of the publisher who create DCS World Digital Combat Simulator. And this is a free simulation for the PC. When we say free, people immediately think, well, it's going to be littered with adverts or it's not going to be any good, blah, blah, blah. And yes, that is usually the case. But in this case, it's slightly different. So basically what happens is you get the core game for free and with it, you get the single map, which is the Caucasus, which are the mountains near the um, border between Russia and Georgia. And with it, you get a couple of aircraft to fly around. One of them is a so-called basic aircraft, and that means there's no clickable cockpit. You've got a bunch of controls and that you've got to map them to your HOTAS or to your keyboard and memorize them. This is the SU-25, also known as the Frogfoot. In addition to that, you also get a high quality aircraft with the so-called clickable cockpit ones. You can sit in either of these in VR, track IR, and again, this is all completely for free. You can download this game and play this right now for free. The downside of this uh, other aircraft that you get for free that has the high definition, the high quality cockpit, it doesn't shoot. It's the training version of the P-51, or known as the TF-51. So you can still have a bunch of fun with it. And if you are just happy flying around without shooting, you can strap on a VR set can play online in all the different seasons and not pay a penny. However, at some point you're going to fly online and when you do that, you're going to see somebody else fly by in something like an F-15 or a Su-27 and you're going to think, do you know what, that would be really cool to have. What then comes along, somewhere between free and the so-called pro packages, is FC-3. FC-3 lets you play with a whole bunch of different aircraft. It's a very good offer and you get with that about five or six different aircraft, including the F-15, you get the Su-27, the Su-33, which is the Russian carrier capable one as well as the a10 alpha and probably a couple of others that i've forgotten and these are the basic or introduction style ones again they don't have the clickable cockpit but they do enable you to fire missiles and fly real fast uh, light the burners up put smoke trails on and do all of that good stuff you can certainly have a good time shooting people down online however when you'll be flying that at some point you're going to see somebody fly over in an f14 or an f16 perhaps the Harrier or the Mirage 2000, you're going to think, hey, I really like that. That looks really sweet. Then they've got you. Then you are addicted to the drug, which is DCS, and you start paying for more and more aircraft. So that is generally how it works. However, some of these aircraft are so expensive, like $80 each, you think that's a huge investment and I'm not even sure if I'm going to like it. So I'm not going to pay any money for it. And Eagle Dynamics recognized that this was the case. And so they came up with an idea. And that's why this video exists, which lets you play them for free. So the first thing to note, this will not work on the Steam version. However, if you have bought aircraft in Steam, don't worry, they won't be lost. So come over to your browser of choice, put in DCS. And I'm going to log into my account um, because I have every module except for one. I'm going to initiate this trial on the module that I don't have. It's a module that I won't get because I don't feel it belongs in the DCS world. But leaving that there, let's use it for this example. So the first thing that you're going to do is create an account if you don't already have one. And this will be the account that you use to log in. And it will also be the account that you use on the website to manage which modules you'll have come into your profile page for the account that you have created. And what we're going to do is scroll down until we get to this box here on the lower left. It says licensing. And if you click on the drop down there, you see there's an option for trial licenses. Click on that and click go. 
and here you'll see all the different aircraft that are available and we're going to look for the uh, for the piston engine because there is the module here which I don't own which I don't have any interest in buying and you'll see this is the one that I don't have if you don't have any of them you'll see this try button it is available next to every single one and we're going to click try and now you'll see we've got the trial period was activated along with when it expires so with that done that's the job done you can quit the browser now come back to your desktop and start up DCS world in the normal way once DCS loads up, you will see this tiled icon here together with a little red circle and a number in it. This indicates that your module is ready to download and you'll be able to click on it here. You'll see we've got the Christian Eagle as well as the SU-33. That's uh, simply there because I ended up buying FC-3, so I actually got the additional license there needlessly. And... With the new module selected, the one that you got the trial for, click OK. And when you do that, DCS will quit. You'll get this uh, allow devices to make changes and you will see the update uh, beginning to take place as the new module downloads. And if you've got a fiber connection, that should happen nice and quick. And with that, DCS will now load again and your new module will be ready to go. It's exactly the same for doing the terrains. So I hope that you found that useful. Once your trials come to an end, you will find that there is this uh, warning or error message as you load up DCS, which basically says that such and such a module is no longer uh, valid. The license has expired, blah, blah, blah. And you can click OK and you can launch DCS up anyway. But you will find that notification annoying. The way to get rid of that notification, you've got two options, either A, you buy the module or B, you come to your module manager to uninstall it. So I'm going to show how to do that now. You click here on your module manager icon, come over to the installed and just look for the module in question. In this case, it's going to be this Christian Eagle 2 and simply click here to disable. The game needs to be restarted. OK. And boom, you're all good. You're where you were before the trial began. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the module. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I do have some advice, some really, really strong advice. Please, please, please listen to me when I say this. Do not be one of these people that downloads one of the pro modules, jumps into it, figures out, oh, this is really difficult. I've got to bind all these controls. I'm not even sure which ones I've got to bind. I finally got around to doing it and I tried to use the weapons and it was all so complicated. It didn't just press one button to fire. I had to do all this stuff with learning how to use the radar and locking something on and TGP and this and that. So do you know what? Sod this. I'm going to get another module and try that one because do you know what? When you try that other one, it's going to be the same story again. And before you know it, You've activated every single module that there was. You only actually got round to being able to fire the Spitfire, but you never learned how to taxi it. And before you know it, all your trials are up and then you're stuck exactly where you were with nothing to do. Take one module, maybe two. And my advice would be pick two completely different modules. OK, don't pick the F-16 and the F-18. Go for something like the F-16 and then pick a Warbird or perhaps a helicopter. And do go to the effort of learning how to do it. And if you get sick of that, go to your other module that you got. Please don't pick more than two or three at once. Trust me when I say this, they take a long time to learn how to use and how to use effectively. And then look forward to switching them over after your two week or four week trial is up. And same with the terrains, just have one on the go at once. There's so much there to explore. You've literally got tens of thousands of square miles on every single map. And so with that out the way and my little lecture series at the end they're done until next time take care thanks very much for watching if you did find this useful leave a like perhaps consider subscribing really it was uh, only a hundred subscribers a, a month or two ago and so if uh yeah if you're interested in creating a youtube channel my advice would be to go for it because uh yeah as long as you stick at it and make stuff that people want to see it seems to grow uh in the way that the lord intended so until then bye bye